Ladies and gentlemen and fellow countrymen and women, thank you for coming back to a very windy and cold and fruitful of ammunition kind of video. There's more shots. Hopefully you can hear me. This is all picking up. If not, we're going to have to refilm this in the office, but oh well. Today we're going over the I Do I Do Gear Combat G3. They're basically cry knockoff pants. Yeah, that's basically all they are. They do all the same things as a cry pant with a few different other things. So my camera, my mica, <laughs> fucking with me. Guys, this video is sponsored by nobody. Nobody sponsoring us, so we need your money now more than ever. So uh, combat pants, as you see in the video and all the footage, they're very durable. As far as breathable goes, uh, so the pants are very breathable. As far as a summertime pant, I wouldn't recommend these. I was uh, sweating my was sweating my ass off especially uh during the summertime when we go out and camp i would wear these because they hold up through everything they hold up through wind rain mud thorns all kinds of bushes and shit so uh i mean they're really strong very durable but it's the summertime it's bad i should whiz around right over his head here at mr wayne already here at Mr. Hollywood Productions, we hire the youngest, the best, to manipulate them and use them for our military. It's a fellow candidate what training right now. Here? How's your training today, sir? <laughs> it was great. Oh, that's what I said. So what made you join the LARPing Coalition, sir? Uh, I got bored of sitting at home. All right, well, you heard it here first. Bored at sitting home, doing nothing. It's yeah. what makes great warriors. These people, they just... I don't want to hang out with them. <laughs> Only the best here at Mr. Hollywood Productions. Thank you. Back to you, admin. <laughs> Do that. All right. So we'll go uh, as Plaid Daddy says, tip to butt. Uh, starting off at the bottom, you have little uh, ink anklets, and uh, you can cinch them down around your ankles tighter. Open them up. I guess get airflow. I didn't get airflow doing that. Uh, then just to the side of those straps is uh, ankle pockets. Now I don't really know what. Technically, you're going to be keeping in those ankle pockets. I don't know. I already know that our Micah, he'd be keeping some sort of pornography there, probably. <laughs> Moving on up the pant. Um, so then we go to the knees. You have your knee pad. I left mine in. I know some guys don't really uh, leave the knees in. I don't know why they take them out. Just comfort, I guess. Um, but I left mine in. And then knee pads right next to them, you have the knee strap. Would you tighten that bad boy down? It's going to keep and hold its position and just snug your knee. So that way the knee pad isn't like way too high if you're getting down in a prone position. Oh. You know how he is just f***ing sticking it and everyone Guys. can find. What? what can I say? I'll take another shit. I don't know what happened. <laughs> take another one? Another we one. We should film that. Yeah, no, we should put that in our skip, bro. Okay, moving up from there, you have that little thigh pocket. Uh, the thigh pocket's gonna have that bungee cord system to lift the knee pad up over your knee, just like a cry. Um, and then obviously it's gonna have that pocket. For me, I put in that pocket, maybe a little, uh, you saw P365 mag, uh, a SIG one. But we're going out hiking, camping stuff. I'll, uh, I'll put little uh, toilet towels that if you get wet, they're like, uh, they expand so it's good ass wipe. Moving on from there, then you have your cargo pocket right to the side. Now the cargo pocket is enormous this thing you could shove four water bottles a baby six mags and still have room to put a hat or whatever you want else you wanted in there the cargo pocket is absolutely ridiculous it's huge as shit 
on your back pockets, right at the assets, uh, you have the zipper pocket. Then you have uh, at the front, right below the hips, you have just a typical jean cut style pocket. Um, the biggest thing too within the crotch and the waist is uh, is the little stretchy material. It's nice and it gives off airflow. That little material right there gives off airflow. I love it. That's what helps cool down the pant because they are thick, man. These are some thick mud. The biggest question is, do these pants, do these pants pull off the assets? No, they don't. They don't pull off the assets. They're so baggy on me that I have no cake. I got no assets. I got nothing. Uh, they're just too baggy. And I think that's my biggest problem first and foremost. Um, with the durability, with the, it's pretty comfortable. Not as comfortable as the Under Armors. They are super, super baggy. They're not, uh, they're not, not tight, not slimming, not sexy. Uh, I think maybe the cries are a bit smaller. Maybe you can get them done. Maybe you can get them hemmed up. I don't know. Uh, I would go to the. What are you looking? That <laughs> a plane was coming for us. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe you can get a a, a tailor, and they can tailor them for you because. Mine just, I don't know, maybe two. I am short. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, uh, in boots. And maybe, I don't know, maybe they're just bagging on me. I think it's, I think they're made for taller guys. I think uh, the sweatshops over in China where these came from, they must think we're just giants over here, which we are. We're the baddest motherfuckers there is. Um, the belt system, it has plenty of belt loops. It's not like the Under Armors that we've reviewed in the past. It's not like that. The belt loops are super durable and solid. They're pretty chunky, but the fabric is really, I mean, it's thick. It is a thick mug, I'll be honest with you. So we're going over the footage and we're back here at the office and there's a few things after final thoughts, whatever the hell you want to call it, that I had noticed that I didn't really go over. There are some camos that they should have, they should be making in these pants. Good, I wish they offered more camos too. I think they need multi-cam, multi-cam arid. They need multi-cam uh, tropical too. It'd be nice if they had other ones, AOR too. I think it's the other one I like, but yeah, they need more camos. With that though, we didn't go over the material. So the material, it says 50% cotton, 50% polyester with a Teflon coating. Now the Teflon coating in my mind is what's making this water resistant, water wicking uh, pant. As we all know, cotton kills. So if cotton kills, why the hell would they be using cotton? Well, all the other name brands like your 511, Under Armour, Cry, UF Pro, they do use some sort of cotton blend. Is it the best case scenario? No, not really. It's not the best. However, it does the job, especially especially being outdoors. You definitely want to be comfortable because if you wear just like a um, if you wear completely waterproof gear like Gore-Tex, I mean, you're not comfortable. You know, you're pretty much wearing a tarp <laughs> and that's not fun. You kind of want that comfort. That's the biggest problem is, yes, it's mainly cotton, but so are most of the other pants we've reviewed. So it's not the most detrimental dentrum. Uh, dang it's not the worst plus that teflon coating i think other companies should start utilizing that a little bit more because i do notice a huge difference when it comes to the water wicking and the resistance to uh to nature i think the other name brands like 511 like under armor even the uh, the rare adidas they're kind of starting to get into outdoor stuff if they would make a more g3 knockoff style pant I think that would really benefit them within their community. A lot of us, especially within the gun culture and tactical world, uh, even overseas and a lot of parts, they like the built-in knee pads. They like that one. They like the durability. They like the, the pockets and all of the cargo space that you have, right? So I think if those companies were to utilize that, plus what I do gear, I do gear, whatever, uh, uses that Teflon coating, I think that would also help reinforce some of these pants that feel just a little cheap, a little cosplay-like. Guys, gals, my fellow countrymen and women, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Now, what's most important is that you subscribe, share, like, videos like this one. Keep 2A, 1st A, and all of our other amendments, especially our Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Anything that promotes these, be sure to thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Mess up the algorithm, as Big Daddy says, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.